Welcome, Joyzer. In today's video, we'll be covering the Cyber Kongs. Oh yes, the whole the whole trifecta, the Baby Kongs, the Genesis, the VX, we're gonna cover it all. In the last video, we covered Bungie Project, and the next one, I'm probably gonna let my Discord decide. Link in the description, or maybe my Twitter. Also link in the description. Make sure you stay till the end because I give my honest opinion on the project after we've done all the analysis. Guys, all I see on YouTube is thousand X coins this, this coin's gonna blow up tomorrow, this NFT's gonna blow up here tomorrow, and I'm trying to change the culture here. We're trying to take over NFT YouTube. My goal is to equip you with the knowledge and confidence it takes to navigate the metaverse on your own one day and if that sounds good to you smash a like on this video uh, it only takes one second all the content I have with us uh, out there is free i appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel as well bell notification on and let's get into it Before we get started, I want to let you know if you want to control some of the content that comes out on this channel, if you want to be in charge of what videos I start making in the future, follow my Twitter because I'm going to start doing little polls, seeing what you guys want because you guys are the ones watching these videos anyway. And so I'm also answering these little Q&A questions at the beginning of each video. I think this was one mustard grain. He asked what my rings were and I have a ring guy. This one is Ohm, the sound of the universe, which is like Ohm meditation. This is a deck of cards to show that I have all the choices and I can make decision on my own. This is a gold ring that I just liked. I just, it was like my first expensive ring. This ring I got in Hawaii. It's a wooden ring from a shack in the middle of nowhere. And this is a mushroom and I used to have a camera on this one. And the next question, I can't remember who left this one, but what is my wallpaper? So on my lock screen, I have Sydney Espo's like mushroom one that just came out. And then on my home screen, I have this NFT that I'm not gonna talk about yet. It's very, very early, but they sent me a custom avatar because they liked my content on TikTok. And it's basically a weed nugget. And it's got like my Kirby beanie. It's got my glasses. I fucking love it. And let's dive into Cyber Kongs. Here's the Cyber Kongs Genesis collection on OpenSea. The floor price is only, so the babies and the Cyber Kongs Genesis are in the same collection. So the floor of the baby apes, or the baby Cyber Kongs is 5.4. But if you go down here and click Genesis, there's only a thousand of them. The floor price for the Genesis ones is 99 Ethereum. So it's a pretty large difference here. We're gonna talk about the difference between having a Genesis, a baby, and a VX, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of parts, a lot of moving parts to this project. So stick with me. They've also got 34,000 Ethereum traded, 2,000 owners, 4.5 thousand items. It's a lot, pretty even too. Here's the Cyber Kong's VX collection. It's got 18,000 uh, Ethereum volume, 1.16 floor price, three and a half thousand or 3.9 thousand owners for 14,000 items. Not the best ratio, but. I feel like that's pretty common. And this is what they look like. Basically just 3D renditions of them. And we're gonna get into the different functionalities of each uh, of each different Cybercon. Another thing I wanna just mention at the very beginning of this video is that this Cybercon collection, people like revered the people who bought these as like guys and it's fucking weird, honestly. Like look, they're making stupid amount of money. But I feel like people look at people who bought punks who bought board apes who bought cyber kongs and they're like these people are fucking geniuses and let me tell you something just because you bought a cyber kong genesis doesn't mean you know squat about anything chances are most of these people in these projects are randoms who just happen to pick the right project a lot of them by chance and so this whole thing about the cyber kongs discord being like this illuminati figure group where everyone just knows everything and they're all insider information i guarantee you it's not nearly as impressive as you think uh, and so I just wanted to like get clear that off. I think it's pretty fucking funny like how much people revere this project. I'm sure there's good reasons and we're gonna go talk about that in the rest of this video, but I just I had to talk about that. It's fucking weird. All right, for holders, someone has 156 of these guys and uh, because of some of the utility that comes with owning a Genesis Cyber Kong, you're gonna see that whoever owns 156 of these is absolutely loaded. And that's a 3.4% uh, whale. Technically, it's not really a whale though, so no problem here. There's pretty pretty even spread. No whales here. Here's Cyber Kong's Twitter page, 76,000 followers. They're verified on Twitter. They're very active. They've got a lot of things coming. We're gonna get into some of the specifics, but I just wanna show you what their page is. They have a lot of engagement, a lot of, a lot of brand work and brand focused stuff. I wasn't actually a big fan of their utility side so much. We're gonna get into that, but huge fan of their brand. They've done excellent at branding themselves and they're already starting from such a high place to have known what to do i'm pretty sure that the people behind cyber kongs the team knows exactly what the fuck they're doing some of these people are really smart because they have absolutely killed the branding side of this looks like they're in the sandbox um they're sharing news like every single day they've got hella engagement they're keeping people up to date they're like doing fun videos they're interacting it's a 
a lot of good stuff on their socials. So this is something that's really, really cool. So they have a little CyberCons exhibit. And if you click enter here, you can go into this little world, bro. This little like exhibit art exhibit thing. And you can move around. Look at this shit, dude. This is fucking cool. Guys, I I'm going to be honest. I did not really give a shit about cyber kongs but now i'm like a huge fan this is dope i may have to get into the vx because this is cool this is so cool i mean this isn't even like that much shit to be totally honest like i feel like there should be more for the amount of money they have but like this is still awesome i think it's really cool i don't see many projects doing something like this all right real quick let's pop in their website so this is what their website looks like really cool stuff these three animations of the cyber kongs vx is dope and you got the genesis collection there's only a thousand of these this is very very similar to the ugaverse nft but there was two thousand I hold two of those. I'm actually very bullish on that project, but this one has only a thousand. They launched a bit before. They were like one of the OG projects of like the 2021 era. And each one generates 10 banana a day for the next 10 years. Right now, banana token is sitting nicely at $46.18. It got up to $100 at one point. Bro, that's a uh, that's $1,000 a day per Genesis Kong. One, one person, Holds 156 of them. Hold on, let me let's just do math real quick. 156 times $50 a day. He's making almost eight grand a day. Oh my god, that makes me sick. Okay, I'm editing the video in the airport right now, and I did the math for horrendously wrong. It's actually 80 grand a day. A day. So these are the baby Kongs and these have 600 banana to be required to get your breeding done. And what the baby Kongs do for their utility, their big thing is they get you into the alpha discord, which has gotten this huge prominent name in the space. And everyone knows about it. They're like, oh, this is the alpha discord. Whoever's whatever project they bless will just turn out to be the next blue chip every time. And it's, it's honestly kind of funny and it's, it's pretty stupid in my opinion, I think, but whatever. It gives instant utility to, to the baby Kong. So whatever. And then they got the VX, this is their third collection. It's more of just like a 3D version of it. And this is the one that goes into all the metaverse games. We're gonna talk about their work in the sandbox that they've been doing recently, but they've really, really done this well. And they were kind of the first project to do anything like this. So when you're first and you're early, typically that means you do well in the NFT world. Level two, the banana shop. This is another thing that gives utility to the banana token because a lot of people say, well, where does the token ox come from? How does it, how does it function? And in this ecosystem, when you've worked on a brand for so long, for months and months and months, you prioritize brand like the CyberCongs did very well. The banana shop is something people want to shop at. It gives you upgrades. You, you know, you can buy equipment, wearables for whatever your NFT is. And if you fuck with the CyberCongs game and you want to be part of their avatar world, you know, you're going to want to have extra stuff. And so this is, this works, this works. It doesn't work for every project, but it can work for the CyberCongs. I'm still unsure because i don't know what their sandbox deal is if it ends up being just a cyber kongs video game probably not going to work long term if they end up branding themselves in a super strong way where like you know fortnite approaches them and says we want cyber kongs to be in the next fortnite game that's where the real success could come from level three kongs island this is going to be uh in the sandbox so yeah i'm not really sure what to expect with this but i am looking forward just to seeing what happens and then they're going to have a utility expansion so owning one or more of the cyber kongs grants you access to the cyber kongs guilds um, which brings the gap between Axie Infinity, Guild of Guardians, and Ember Sword, which are some bigger games than NFT World. Still, none of the games in NFT World are that impressive, but this shows good signs. So it's not really like what is what is detail is happening here. It's more about like what direction are they moving? Are they making real strides? And they are. And so, honestly, guys, I, I came in very bearish on CyberCons. I thought I was going to be not that impressed but so far they've done an excellent job so some of the key features they want to talk about is the player avatars uh, from the sandbox universe and there are some like leaked footage of that stuff it's pretty it actually it's pretty cool you have full commercial rights on your cyber kong's assets meaning you can pretty much do whatever with this uh, and i think you're able to even like sell merch i think you're i'm not, I'm not quite sure on what the commercial rights are but you, you have a lot of rights if you have that so that's dope and then for their advanced tokenomics they have a cyber kong's ecosystem that works really well that uh that i mean it, it does work because of how much brand work they've done and that's another big big reason i'm a big fan of the ugaverse you know creature world doge pound they just, they're spending a lot of time on the stuff that matters and so yeah you get 10 bananas per 24 hours you can use that to breed you can also use it to buy things to banana shop you can use it for exclusive access and uh here's the one thing i'll say if you hold a cyber kong there, I feel like you're making so much money and like nothing matters. Like if I had a Cyber Kong, I wouldn't even be paying attention to anything, I feel like, you know? And so I don't know if buying from the banana shop 
is enough to fund banana token to be $45 and maintain something that impressive. So I do think they're going to have to introduce some type of extra advanced utility functionality thing for this to work long term. And then with the baby Kongs, you can also set your own storyline and your nickname by spending banana. So again, that works because of how much brand work they've done. You can also rename your XV, your VX Kong by spending banana. It looks like they are trying to create their own little game world thing. And so, you know, if their brand is strong enough, maybe, but I, I still think it's going to be harder than most people think. So this is the Council of Kongs. This is everyone on the team. We're going to go over these guys at the end of this video because I want to make sure I get through the bulk of this stuff because I know some people don't watch this far into the videos. So here's a couple of sneak peeks from Cyber Kongs Reconstruction uh, where they're, this is kind of like what maybe some of the game world would look like. And, you know, it's, it's, it's whatever. I mean, it just looks like every other video game, but it's cool stuff. This is something that's really cool. They have 3D printing files so you can like 3D print your, your custom genesis or whatever con you have that's awesome especially since the, they focus so much on the brand i keep saying this because i'm a broken record but this is really the only thing that really matters is when you have a very strong community and brand support anything you fucking do they're gonna love right like it, like for example if you're watching my videos every day for the next year and i drop a clothesline that's dope you're probably gonna want it because you fuck with me and it's the same shit with cybercon it's the same shit with any kind of brand you stick with them for a long time they continuously deliver value to you and you fuck with them then when they do stuff this is cool if this was some random project doing a 3d print no one would give a fuck about it but since it's cyber Kongs and it's got this lore about it and people want to be part of it it does you know and it, and it has that extra thing like right now it looks like not much but it is it is more than that and just so you guys know i wanted nothing more than to rip into cyber Kongs today i was praying to god i'd be able to just rip them apart somewhere but so far i mean they've just done really really well i guess there is a reason that elio trades alex becker all the big dudes are huge cyber Kongs people i just thought it was because they were like in the project and they were making bank but like they're doing a bunch of good shit here the one thing i will say is not not that it's annoying but it's kind of unfair is that since cyber Kongs is so stacked and people think so highly of them anything the cyber Kongs decide is gonna be successful is because they chose it and i and i hate that because it's like that's kind of like that's just straight up manipulation you know it's the same when influencers call out a project and then it pumps after it's like of course it pumped. It's going to be really important for me to remind everyone every time I talk about a project I buy that I'm not buying to make money. I don't buy NFTs to flip them. Most of I mean, if I, if I just like happen to buy something and it does a 4X tomorrow, maybe I'll flip. But like, that's not why I buy NFTs. And so when, when someone asks me, like, are you going to buy Dogepond, for example, for me, like my answer is yes. But I have 14 reasons that none of them are probably the same reason you want to buy. So it doesn't matter if I'm buying or if Alex Becker is buying, you know, and it depends what their goals are. If they're trying to pump their bags, then, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. But that's unfair. And they'll probably go to jail for it. But for me, it's just that's just not why I buy NFTs. I, I actually said this in a podcast. I think I collect NFTs the same way I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards back in the day. I like the shiny shit that looks cool. I bought it because I like to look at it. That's literally it. That's the same when I buy art. Like, I don't give a rat's ass about utility. I don't care if the project goes down or up. I just like it. I think I like the way it looks. And that's how I look at most of my NFTs. So that's just something to note. So they have a little CyberConks proposal, a little voting area. This is kind of like the DAO. They just like have different topics. They vote on it. This is cool. I like this. This is what all projects should be doing. This isn't like you know this isn't special or setting their project apart but it is something that's good they also have a kong's tank this is similar to the shark tank so this is very interesting it's basically yeah a shark tank the entrepreneurs who want to work with the cyber kongs pitch themselves and this is dope i, I fuck with this like I, I i fuck with anything that's different you know and this is like you can tell cyber kongs is trying to build a brand like a company a company company and this is also what ugaverse is doing that's why i think they're very similar and they both might have similar results and so i'm excited i'm really excited this is dope i'm a big fan of this now as promised we're going to go over the people on the team so we've inverted worlds upside down he's guys own up his z collection there's nothing much going on there but he's very active in the community talking um I, I honestly not a lot of these guys are like fully doxxed in the sense that i know what their past was i don't know what their prior work was really for most of these guys but what i can tell you is from basically everyone on the team for the most part they're pretty active on twitter they're engaging they're resharing they're doing all the things that i look for from projects and a lot of them have a lot of followers a lot of them do end up having a lot of good nfts and being a good group so i will say more than likely their alpha discourse better than most i still don't think it's probably as elite as people make it out to be because it's just got that connotation to it but guys i mean everyone on their team as far as from a aesthetic standpoint of like does their page look presentable everything looks presentable everything looks right everything looks organized everyone's got the right links 
they've got the right vibe everything about the project is inviting but it's also one of those where it's like we're dope you know and not a lot of projects are able to give off a vibe like that like doge pound's one of them uh there's not a lot i mean doge pound's the only one that comes to mind honestly that have like a a fuck like a fuck with me vibe just like do whatever you want i don't care we're killing it and so that is something that i noticed straight off the bat with all these guys and dude people want to be part of the cybercon stuff especially like even if you didn't get in the genesis project like the babies the vx people really fuck with the brand and i keep bringing up ugaverse but it's the same shit dude people want to be in this in the ugaverse brand and so like they don't give a shit if it's a baby uga or if it's the third generation like they don't care and when you work on branding long enough and you focus on branding and you bring value to your holders and you do all the things right and you have a long-term vision in mind it's good stuff and everything looks healthy, way more healthy than I thought. I can't even tell you like, how like upset I am that I wasn't able to rip into this project. I was hoping to find a chink in their armor and there really wasn't much. And I guess that's why they're one of the top NFT projects, probably one of the top contenders to make it through the bear run if they're able to just continuously do this. But anyway, guys, if you learned something in this video, if you enjoyed yourself, any of those things, smash like in this video so I know. I put out all this content for you for free. It's so much fun, but I do appreciate all the love and support. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you wanna see more of me right now, click on one of these boxes on our side of me until next time continue on your joy age continue to learn and be grateful you're alive watching this video